Today, we're going to work on your basic vinyasa flow. So for those of you who are new to yoga, for those of you who maybe have done yoga in the past, but it's been a long time, or those of you who just want to refresh on the basics, today, this class is for you. So, all you need to practice yoga today is a mat, if you have one, if not, a towel, some carpet, anything to lay on. Otherwise, I'm going to use a strap. If you have a strap, brilliant. If not, then maybe you can use a rolled up towel, a rolled up blanket, a piece of rope. Again, whatever works for you, this is also not necessary, it's just an option. Otherwise, I also have a blanket here. So you can take any sort of average blanket, a towel, whatever you've got lying about. You have those things ready, let's get started, and if you don't, don't worry about it. All you need to practice yoga is a body. So if you're here with me today, let's get started. So you want to start at the top of your mat facing forward. I'm going to start in the center of the mat facing you just so you can see. Now we're going to come to Tadasana or mountain pose. So feet hip width distance apart, palms face open, shoulders shrug up and back, take a sigh out. Maybe start to shut the eyes and bring your focus inward. Is your weight equally distributed through all four corners of your feet? Take a micro bend in the knees, tilt the hips somewhat forward, just enough so you can bring your tailbone underneath your spine. Bring your shoulders up towards your shoulder or towards your ears. Bring them back behind the ribcage. Open up your chest. Allow your palms to face forward and relax. Stand a little taller. Pull the belly in as you do so. Be strong like a mountain. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up and high to the sky. Grab onto the right wrist. Pull over to the left side. Bring your gaze towards the ceiling. Weight is equal between all four corners of your feet. One more inhale here as you pull a little harder, deep in the stretch, but not too much. Inhale, center. Exhale, grab onto the opposite wrist. Reach over to the right side. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, hold it here. Breathe as if you can breathe more energy into the right side of your body. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, reaches your hands high and tall to the sky. Exhale, start to fold it forward, hinging at the hips. Come to Uttanasana, standing forward fold. So you want to have your feet about hip width distance apart. Allow your head to hang and keep heavy. For many of us, you may not be able to touch the floor. That's okay, you don't need to. You can bring your fingers in line with your shins, in line with your knees, wherever is comfortable for you. Let gravity do the work in this pose. Let it pull you down as your head hangs. Release any tension, anything you're holding on to right now that isn't going to help you. Let it go. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, place your hands to the mat. Start to bring your knees down towards the center of the mat. We're coming into tabletop. So wrist creases are parallel to the top of the mat, knees directly underneath the hips, fingers facing forward. Inhale, make yourself strong. A neutral straight spine as you gaze directly down in front of your hands. Bring your belly in and make your back strong and flat, like a tabletop. On your next inhale, drop your belly, come to cow pose. As you bring your heart forward to the top of the mat, belly grows heavy and sinks towards the ground. Exhale, push the earth away with your hands, dome up, bring your navel towards your spine. Inhale, cow pose, drop it, let it all hang out. Exhale, bring it all in. Curve up between the, every vertebrae, bringing some real flexion into the spine. 
Inhale, strike for that extension. Open up to the rib cage. Exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. Tuck it all in, nice and tight. Now take a few more cat cows here, listening to your body and what feels good. Where do you need to open up your heart more? How can you dome in more? Maybe you start to draw circles over the wrist creases. Listening to your body more than you listen to your yoga teacher. Each inhale brings your heart forward. Exhale brings it back. This is your opportunity to look at what feels stiff and where can you open up? Where does your body need your attention and need you to listen? When you're ready and you've worked out those knees and creases, come to stillness. You're going to now tuck your toes and slowly start to send your hips towards the sky, coming into your first downward dog. So here you want to have your knees bent as much as possible, especially as you start to warm up your practice. Spread your fingers wide. Exhale, side it out. You want to strive for a straight flat back. It doesn't matter here if you have bent legs, straight legs, it's the same exact pose as long as you're aiming for that straight flat back. Tummy pulls in, hands push down to the mat. Exhale, look between your hands, start to tiptoe to the top of the mat. Hang out here again for a moment. Use your breath to allow you to let it all go. And slowly and with control, start to inhale, raise up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming to your standing position to dots in the mountain pose. Once more. Okay, now we're going to heat up our practice a bit more. So inhale, reaches up. Exhale, grab onto the left wrist. Open up to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, opposite wrist. Pull to the side. Keep your hips both facing forward. Inhale up, exhale, hinge up the hips, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back. Fingers to shins. You want to make yourself look like the number seven. The inhale here, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, come to a high plank. So in your high plank, you want to push the earth away, jump up between your shoulder blades, keep your hips in line with the crown of your head and your heels. Lower to the ground with your knees, untuck your toes. Now we have a straight line from our knees all the way to the top of our head. Maintaining that line on your exhale, slowly start to lower down, bringing your elbows in by the ribcage. Inhale, cobra pose, so lifting your heart forward, gaze to the top of the mat, little to no weight in the hands. Pushing the tops of the feet into the earth, one more deep inhale here. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back to a child's pose. Then raise up again, sending your hips high to the sky, downward facing dog. Maybe you pedal out your dog here if you need, shifting your weight from side to side. Maybe you make it a happy dog and wag your tail a little. Do what you need to do knowing that movement is a good thing and yoga is meant to be playful as well as serious. Take a deep breath in, look between your hands, step to the top of the mat, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back, belly pulls in, exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, arms sweep up high to the sky, exhale, hands to heart center. You've just done your first sun salutation. So we're going to take it forward, keep doing more. Inhale, reaches up. Exhale, grab onto the right wrist, pull to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite wrist, pull to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, belly pulls in. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, left foot, then right, high plank. Lower down to your knees, untuck your toes. Exhale, bend the elbows all the way to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, lift with your heart. 
Exhale, tuck your toes. Child's pose. Downward dog. Beautiful job, yogis. Take a few movements here if you need. Just several deep, deep breaths. Inhale, some new life. Exhale, let go of anything that you don't need. Any doubts, any negativity. And notice how with this breath and movement, everything starts to change. On your next inhale, raise your right leg to the sky. Keep your hips parallel with the ground, weight equal in both front hands. One more inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, tuck it in. Plant your foot between your hands at the top of the mat. Now for many of us, this may not happen in our first 10, 20, 2,000 times. That's okay. You just bring your knee as close as you can, plant your foot where you can, and heel toe it forward to the top of the mat. When you're there, lower down your back knee, untuck your back toes. Now for some of us, this may be really, really tough on our back knee. Use the blanket. Make some padding if you need. On your next inhale, rise up to your low lunge. So you want to push your front right heel into the air, back left knee into the ground. Reaching up and tall but relaxing the shoulders. Belly's pulling in nice and tight. Almost like you're doing up a pair of trousers that are too tight for you. One more breath here. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back, high plank. Taking a deep breath here. Exhale, lower to the knees, untuck the toes. Elbows in by the rib cage. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck the toes. Heels to thumb, thumb to heels. Send the hips high, downward dog. So again, bending your knees here as much as you need. Striving for that straight, flat back. It's almost like your biceps are externally rotating. Tummy pulls in as you strive to send your hips a little higher. Exhale, look between your hands. Beautiful job. Keeping that straight fat back, inhale, left heel goes high towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Lower down to the back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, arms go high to the sky. Belly pulls in. You should feel a stretch through that right hip flexor. More inhale here, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Lower it down to the knees, untuck the toes, exhale all the way to the earth, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose, exhale, tuck the toes, heels go back, hips go up. Beautiful. All right, one more final flow here, you've got this. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Option to lower back to your knee, as you did before, if that was good. Otherwise, you can straighten the back leg. Inhale, reaches up to your high crescent lunge. So exhale, sit a little lower. You want to strive for a 90 degree angle on the front leg. Deep breath here. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back. High plank, you can go straight to downward dog if you like. Otherwise, lower knees, untuck toes, exhale, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, tuck the toes, bump to heels, bump to sky. Got it, one more flow, inhale, left leg goes high to the sky, exhale, knee to nose, step it through, lower down to the knee if you like, or keep it straight, you've got lots of time to do this video now, inhale, arms go high to the sky. Breath here, find your drishti or that place to focus your gaze. It'll help you keep your balance and be stable. One more breath here, exhale, hands to mat, step it back. Lower it down to the knees, untuck the toes, and exhale all the way to the ground in a straight line. Inhale, cobra, exhale, child's pose. Stay here for a moment. Allow your knees to be together. Forehead meets the mat. Take a few deep, calming breaths here. Now 
Now we all want to rise up together, come to the top of your mat, just as we start to pass. We're going to take a couple of tree poses together. The silly thing that you see often when people do yoga poses, you're going to do it. So, balancing on the right foot, bend the left knee. Allow the heel of the left foot to sit just above the right ankle. I'm actually going to mirror you guys to make it easier. So, as you're standing here, this is already tree pose. If this is good and you feel a little bit wobbly, stay here and work your way up. Otherwise, you can bring the sole of that left foot inside of the calf. Balance here. You can keep your hands on your hips to make sure your hips are facing forward to the top of the room and have equal weight. There's a tendency here to shift your weight left, shift it right, bring it to center, be strong. If you can take it further, if you want to take it further, bring the sole of your foot inside of that right leg. There's an opposite and equal tension here, pushing together. Try to avoid placing your foot next to your knee. Focus instead on the thigh or the calf. Palms of the hands push together as you lift your heart. An opposite but equal tension gets you there. Exhale, release, fold it forward. I don't know about you guys, but it's hot in India. I am sweating. Oh, side out. And then slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come back to standing. Shifting your weight into your left foot now. Yes. Bring your heel just above the ankle. Balance here. Option to stay here or bring the sole of the foot to hug the calf muscle. If that's good and you need to take it further, bring the sole of the foot inside of the thigh muscle. Hands together. Take a deep breath here. Push the palms together. Engage the core to help the balance. And push the sole of the foot into the thigh or the calf, wherever it is. The opposite, the equal tension, is what's going to help you maintain a strong balance. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, release, fold it forward. And slowly and gently come to a seated position in the center of your mat. Hug the knees in nice and tight. Give yourself a squeeze. And we're going to come to boat pose. So hugging the knees in. Place the hands just underneath the knee joints, back to the knees. Now sit up tall, make sure your back is strong and long. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you come onto the toes. Maybe you lift the chins so they're parallel to the back. Staying here, or if you can take it further, if you need to take it further, straighten the arms. If this is good, and you absolutely need even more than this, straighten the legs. Take one deep breath here. Exhale, lower it down. Oh, nice job. Now, this is the point where you'll want the strap. So taking a hold of the strap if you have it, or a rolled up towel, a blanket, a rope. If you've got one, it's not really needed. Coming into legs of the wall pose. So the pose will look like this. Straightening the legs, heels push towards the ceiling, belly tucks in, back of the sacrum pushes down to the ground. For most of us, it's not going to look like that right away. So you can use a strap to help you pull your legs up, making sure you're not pulling beyond your limit. You have time to get there. Everything is difficult before it's easy. Keeping your legs there. Deep inhale here. Pull the belly in. It's okay if your legs are bent in the beginning, but eventually you want to work towards these straight, strong legs. Taking one more deep breath. Exhale, lower the legs down in a straight line if you can. 
Hug the right knee in nice and tight. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock it side to side. Then guide the leg over to the left side of the body. Reach the arm out towards the right. Gaze towards the right. And relax. Strive to keep your shoulders connected to the mat. Allow your breath to settle. See how you can relax into this pose. Bring back to center. Hug both knees in nice and tight. Give yourself a squeeze. Straighten the right leg. Hug the left knee in nice and tight. And start to guide that knee over with your right hand to the right side of the mat. Left arm out long and strong. Encourage your shoulders to stay connected to the ground. Let the twist happen from the top down. Deep breath here. Again, try to settle. Maybe you close your eyes. Relax into the pose. So make your final movements for the day in your yoga practice. Inhale, bring it back in. Hug everything in nice and tight. Give yourself some squeezes. Hug it all in. Maybe forehead to knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Let it all go. Find yourself in the center of your mat. Legs fall out wide. Arms fall out wide. Take up some space here. Let your feet fall out. Legs relax. Hips grow heavy, sinking into the ground. Palms face up. Let your breath settle, begin to slow. We'll be here for one more minute to calm. Try to think about nothing else. Just let everything be for one more minute. Slowly start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Bring some movement back into the body, maybe circle the wrists, rotate the ankles. Inhale, reach, expand in all directions. Exhale, hug it in, roll onto your side. Make a pillow for your head with your lower arm. Keep your eyes shut. Take a few final seconds here to just recollect. And then slowly come back up, seated in the center of your mouth. Keeping your eyes shut if you can. Hands on the knees. Sitting a little taller, a little stronger. One more thought with your eyes closed. Take a moment to notice what has changed. What has shifted? Celebrating your body and all the things it's capable of, bring your hands to heart center, thumbs to forehead. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.